I want to read you guys this great comment I found, which is, uh, is ironically just on some random uh, mimology video, but occasionally you find like these extremely woke individuals in there, and they got these great lists of information that they just love spreading to normies who don't listen to them, sort of like I do. And uh, this YouTuber named Animus Light compiled this fantastically long comment that's a list of interesting individuals you should look up, and I'm going to read it to you. Um, I'm going to be, as per usual, uh, changing a certain word that's used to avoid losing this channel forever. So I'm going to use, uh, let's say to use the word uh, dude. We're just going to use a random word dude in place of this. All right. Um, Karl Marx was a dude who was distant cousins with the Rothschild family. Leon Trotsky was a dude whose birth name was Lev Davidovich Bronstein. Lenin was a dude who was born to a German dude father. Several other key members of the Bolsheviks were also dudes. A lot more than several, by the way. These men were responsible for the mass murder of millions of non-dudes. All three of President Joe Biden's children have married dudes. Kamala Harris is also married to a dude. 11 out of 100 United States senators are dudes. Two out of nine of the Supreme Court justices are dudes. One of them was a dude who just passed away last year, I think, or that might have been a third one. <clears throat> 32 out of 435 U.S. congressmen are dudes. The Secretary of State, the Secretary of the Treasury, the Attorney General, the Secretary of Homeland Security, the Director of National Intelligence, the Administrator of the Small Business Administration, the Presidential Science Advisor, and the Chief of State are all dudes. In the last 34 years, dudes have been at the helm of the Federal Reserve for 31 of them. The Deputy Director of the CIA is a dude. The chairwoman of the FCC is a dude. Google was founded by two dudes. The CEO of YouTube is a dude. The founder and CEO of Facebook is a dude. The CEO of Pfizer is a dude. The president of Moderna is a dude. The director and deputy director of the CDC are both dudes. Out of the top 10 wealthiest people in America, 50% of them are dudes. Seven out of the eight major US film studios were founded by dudes. Six out of the top ten major U.S. record labels are also dudes, or, or CEOs are dudes, I should say. Twelve out of the top fourteen largest U.S. hedge funds were founded and currently ran by dudes. The 1967 Therapeutic Abortion Act was authored by a dude. The APA, the organization responsible for removing transgenderism and homosexuality as mental illnesses from the DSM, is headed by dudes. The first gender reassignment surgery was done by a German dude in the Weimar Republic. Purdue Pharma, the company infamous for creating the opioid epidemic, was founded and is currently ran by dudes. Most website and production companies that deal in the creation and distribution of pornography in the United States were either founded by and or are currently run by dudes. The Family Law Act, the act that introduced no-fault divorce laws into America, was authored by a dude. This massively propelled the divorce rate. The Hart Seller Act was in part authored by a dude. This set the U.S. on the course of complete demographic change that we see today. Check the latest census. By the way, that was one of the, uh, the uh, immigration acts that drastically changed our immigration rules towards favoring people who are not white. And dudes only make up 3% of the total population of the U.S., and that's an overstatement. It's more like 24 so, a very small minority of this country has done all that and a lot more. And you know how much of this harmful propaganda that you strongly dislike as a conservative or Republican or right-wing individual or even just a conservative or a, a critical thinker or some bullshit, um, you need to be aware that it's not natural for 3% of anything to do this, especially when this dude population doesn't actually have any measurable genetic advan advantage over uh, white people. The uh, dude race has about almost exactly the same median IQ as white people, which is about 105. 
uh, they're not physically in any way genetically average stronger than white people. In fact, quite the opposite. They're, in fact, very prone to genetic and uh, adult onset diseases of all kinds. It just, you know, there's a reason why there's a stereotype of these people as sickly. That came up in a lot of the uh, the stereotypical depictions of these people before we stopped doing stereotypical uh, depictions. Anyway, that this is long enough because I kind of wanted to keep this at least short for my uh, usual video length. But... That is some researchable, uh, checkable, fact checkable, uh, very interesting factoids about dudes. I don't have no idea if I'm going to make that a thing. I thought of a, as I thought it up on the spot. It sounds annoying, honestly, but it also makes me smile, so I might keep doing it. But um, I referred to these people by all sorts of euphemisms, and I think I'm going to keep the euphemism thing up just in case it's only algorithms that are uh, fucking up my YouTube channel. I don't actually know if I have that many hate watchers. I know I have like three or four at least that I see somewhat regularly. But uh, yeah, you got to wonder why all these things that have been very harmful for the United States and all these organizations that seem to be doing direct harm as we speak to the United States, they're all run by the same people. The same people who are very uh, tied by either marriage bonds or blood to many of the people in Congress and many bankers and many hedge fund man managers and tech CEOs and entertainment CEOs and, and movie studio uh, directors and shit. Why, is, why do these people have so much power again? And then one day, for no reason at all, a certain man with a strange mustache rose into power. Nobody knows why. Nobody knows how. But for some reason, the populace sure were happy to see him. I wonder why they were happy to see him. I wonder what was going on in Weimar, Germany at the time. This is now an ASMR channel. Don't think too much about this.